when you think about the transaction for purchasing fixed assets, you might hit the drop down again and say, well, what form is designated directly for the purchase of buildings or equipment? And there is none. There is no form. Why? Because once again, we're on the setup process of the business. We're not on the day to day transactions. We don't buy equipment all the time. We only buy equipment every once in a while because they're large investments that are going to have an impact, hopefully, to generate revenue multiple periods into the future. So then the next question is, well, is cash affected? In this case, we're going to say yes, because we're going to buy it with cash and therefore we can use an expense form or the register in a similar fashion as we did with the investment uh, with the investments or a check form, uh, the forms that decrease the checking account. But it's often the case that we finance equipment. We buy it, we take out a loan to purchase the equipment. Then there's not a form for that transaction specifically. Cash may not be impacted and therefore we might use a journal entry. That's when we default to the, the journal entry because there's no other form that we would use. That's the general thought process that we would want to go through.